Hi, this is Brian from Fix My PC Store, and today we're going to talk about how to reinstall the Adobe products in your system. So, we want to open up a web browser, be it Internet Explorer or Mozilla. In this tutorial, we're going to open up Internet Explorer because most users do use Internet Explorer. So, we want to go ahead and go to the very top here, not the search bars here or here, so don't get confused. We want to type here the top left adobe.com. Okay. And the Adobe will pop up. Okay. Adobe uh, website will pop up. And as you can see here, it'll say products, solutions, learning, help, downloads, company and store. So what we want to do is download. So we want to click on the download tab. And as you can see on your far right, you'll see readers and players. And here are your two products that you want to install, the Adobe Reader and the Adobe Flash. You can only install them one at a time. So we're going to go ahead and install Adobe Reader first. So I'm going to click on Adobe Reader. okay now as you can see here something is checked for us here it says include in your download and it says a free Google toolbar option and I'm gonna uncheck that because I don't like any toolbars in my Internet Explorer to clog up my web space so we don't want that so I'm gonna I'll go ahead and uncheck that and then there is a yellow button here it says download now so I'm gonna go ahead and download now and as you can see, there's one through four steps. The first step, something actually happened already, it popped up here as per the step number one. Wait for the informational toolbar to appear, which it appeared right up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do step two now, install ActiveX. So I'm going to right click and install this. And it goes directly to step four for me because I turned off this feature on Vista and 7 usually there's a, a feature uh, that you need to have permissions for um, and I shut that feature off because I don't like things that I have to give permission to all the time so I turn that feature off but in default you will have this step 3 if you didn't turn it off so in step 3 you just hit continue after you hit continue step 4 would automatically appear like it just popped up in my screen it says uh, you know uh, do you want to install the software and we're gonna hit yes install so it starts installing the download the Adobe download manager and we'll wait for a few minutes and there it goes Okay, after it installs, it says installation complete. Close your manager. And you get um, basically into this screen right here, which is the Adobe Reader. Uh, and then here you'll see Adobe Flash Player, and that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and click on Adobe Flash Player because that's what we need. And it's going to be the same scenario as uh, the first Adobe, uh, Adobe Reader where you see that there is something included on your download and we want to go ahead and uncheck that. Because something is included which is free Google toolbar. And if you want a toolbar, go ahead. For me, I think it's just one too many. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and click on download now. And it starts downloading the Flash Player. And a screen will pop up and just click on yes, I have read the agreements, install. Then there's going to be a done button. So I'll click on done. And everything is complete. Close manager. Um, and you have the Adobe Reader in a Adobe Flash Player already set in your computer. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And you have a great day.